Formula One, a sport that spans hearts, minds and nations, where the 20 best drivers in the world come together to take on some of the world's most historic circuits. And that legacy continues today. The 2021 championship was thrilling from start to finish, and 2022 is set to be even better. New regulations will usher in an age of pioneering changes. New driving talent alongside returning champions will be dueling it out to the bitter end. The pressure will be on the team principals in the upcoming season as they manage their drivers, their cars and the whole team to push to victory. This is not a challenge for the faint-hearted. This is Formula One. Mercedes returned to F1 in 2010, and since 2014 they've won the Constructors' Championships back-to-back -back every year. In 2021, they took home the Constructors' Championship once more, although they narrowly missed out on the Drivers' Championship coming in second. Heading into 2022, Mercedes will insist on dominating the competition. Nothing less than the fastest car and the most wins will give the Silver Arrows the outcome they want to see at the end of this new season and beyond. Mercedes returned to F1 in 20... Hi there, nice to meet you. I'm Audrey Mensah, one of the team's senior engineers. Welcome to the team. It's great to have you on board. The pressure is on here at Mercedes to retake our place at the top of both the constructors and driver standings. We've done it before and we can definitely do it again. Let's show you around and get started. As our new team principal, you're responsible for a lot of aspects of the team. Everything from managing our team's growth, overseeing our finances, and deciding on race day strategies will be in your hands. You can keep an eye on most things from your dashboard here. I can take you through it now. First up, an overview of the board. They're the ones who set the expectations for the team. If they're confident in your leadership, you'll be fine. If they lose confidence in you, however, they might look to replace you. The board sets season objectives for the team to achieve. Reaching them will help keep confidence high, so be sure to familiarise yourself with what's expected. You'll want to keep an eye on the long-term objective for beyond this season as well. OK then, let's look ahead to the race weekend. We need to start preparing for the next Grand Prix which will be the first of the season. As it's your first day though, there's nothing urgent for you to address. Feel free to explore more, or you can select continue and sign off for the day. Once you do, time will pass, but don't worry about missing anything. You'll automatically sign back in if an important event comes up. Don't forget to check in with the board often. 
You can monitor board confidence levels, your available budget and your progress towards a greater team rating from here. From here, you can see all the team's facilities, from the staff buildings to the car park development centres. You can build new facilities or, if the team has the time and money, upgrade our existing ones. Facilities affect all areas of our team's performance. Over time, facilities will degrade and become less effective, so keep an eye on their condition. When this happens, we'll need to look at refurbishing or even upgrading that facility to get back to maximum efficiency. It's not just the fastest car that makes a team the best in F1. It's the people doing the hard work behind the scenes. Manage your staff from here, from department heads to your pit crew, and keep up to date on their performance. This is where you'll find relevant information on the team's drivers and reserve driver, including their performance ratings and contract details. You can also scout for new drivers to make sure we have the best driver pairing we can. One of my favorite places. This is where the car builds happen and where we develop and store our car parts. Throughout the season, you'll want to make sure the team are working on upgrading components and that both cars are being kept in good repair. You can also use car analysis to compare our car builds to other teams. This is where you carry out your final preparations for the next race. We'll come back here later. This is your calendar for the month. Pay attention to the events that have been marked. The race weekends have already been added for you. More events will get added as the season progresses. It's no longer your first day. We'll have you on top of things in no time. You'll continue moving through days this way until it's time for the race, which you can see in the upcoming events list. It's good to get in the habit of regularly checking that list. Let's take a look at what needs doing today. You have an alert in the top corner. 
there's an important email awaiting a response, so you should check your inbox when you're ready. Here you can delve deeper into team finances and see our balance, as well as understanding information on income and rewards and the enforced spending caps we have to abide by. Looks like you've received a budget approval request. Most of the team's budget is decided by the board at the start of the season, plus whatever we get from last season's prize money and any extra sponsorship revenue we earn. I reckon that's a good decision. It should keep the team in high spirits anyway. Now that's dealt with, we can focus on our first Grand Prix of the season. The race weekend is still a few days away, so move forward when you're ready. There's always some final work to do before we can set off. Check your inbox for the race prep report on this weekend's circuit. OK, you want to get started with a design project. These are car parts we can design and manufacture in-house. Each car part impacts different areas of a car's performance, but certain car parts will have a greater impact than others. You can also view our car performance by rank on grid. This is a useful comparison tool and lets you see how our performance compares to that of all the other cars on the grid. Take a look over the different car parts. The highlights indicate which performance areas they impact the most. Pick one that impacts the ratings you want to improve. The team's expertise in making new car parts improves with experience, so each new design is likely to be better than an older one. Just make sure to check the new design against the one currently installed. Testing is also an important step in designing a new car part. Our testing time is limited throughout the season, and it's up to you to decide how much to commit to each design project. If you assign some testing time to this design now, you can see what effect it will have on the car part. Once you've taken a look, let's continue.
You can direct the engineering team to focus on specific areas of performance. F1 car parts are complex, and sometimes you'll have to sacrifice performance in one area to achieve gains in another. Over the season, we'll understand more about our car's performance, which will help you to guide the team's design focus. You can try altering the focus now if you like, or else stick with a balanced approach. When you're ready, continue with the process. As a final step before the team gets started on this design project, you need to decide how many engineers you want working on it. You should also decide what approach they should take. Bear in mind these decisions will have an impact on the duration and cost of the project. When you're happy with everything, confirm the project and the team will get started. Nice work. That's the project started. If you check your calendar, you'll see the team have given you a delivery date for the design. Once it's complete, you'll be able to manufacture that part anytime. Continually designing new car parts is imperative to improving our team's performance and staying competitive on the track. Check out the car analysis area regularly to see how our cars compare to others on the grid. OK, you have all the information you should need. Let's head to race preparation to see if there's any remaining tasks for us to complete. This is your race preparation area, where you'll get the team ready for the upcoming race weekend. You can also find all the information you need on the circuit we're racing on here. One thing you'll always need to do before each race weekend is setting our performance targets. These help us generate more potential rewards for the team. Here we've got the performance targets for this coming weekend. If we meet these, we'll gain extra revenue. Looks like we've got incentives for both the qualifying session and the race. If we can reach those targets, we'll get an additional payout, and it won't cost the team anything if we don't meet them. You can also decide to add targets here and offer our sponsors guarantees. These are a risk, as we face a potential financial loss if we don't meet them. But if we do, we'll gain a much larger reward. OK, if you want to offer a guarantee for this weekend, and raise the team's potential rewards, now is your chance. That feels like something we can achieve without too much difficulty. The reward... OK, we're done here. Let's head back.
You've done everything needed and the team can't wait to get started. It's time for the first race of the season. You can take some more time to look around if you like. When you're ready, let's get this show on the road. Welcome to the archipelago of Formula One. Bahrain might have a small land footprint, but it's showing its big spirit right now in the grandstands. Either way, it's time for another fantastic weekend of Grand Prix racing. The Bahrain International Circuit is a challenging track, and the cars routinely have to brake from high gear to low to take the narrow turns. With the need for downhill braking, the risk of locking up is one drivers will need to manage. It's all about focus and balance to get victory here. At this early stage in the season, there are still plenty of opportunities for things to change. In this sport, there simply are no guarantees. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Formula One. Great to see you again. Welcome to your first race weekend with the team. It's Friday. So we're kicking off with free practice one as usual. Over here is our race preparation area. This is where you can make any changes you need ahead of the upcoming practice session. Rest assured the team have already prepared the cars for practice. When you're ready, we can continue to the practice session. During race weekends, you can decide whether you want to manage the practice sessions yourself or whether to hand over control to your team. As it's your first race weekend, you should let the team handle the practice sessions.
Welcome back as we continue our race weekend. Practice has finished and qualifying is hot on its heels. While everyone will be talking about the battle for pole, there is still so much to be contested here today. Qualifying presents a tremendous opportunity for all 10 constructors and their drivers, as a strong performance now will put them in good stead for tomorrow's race. Hold on tight, because we're getting underway. To help maximise our driver's performance, the team have them work on three goals during practice. Track acclimatisation, car parts knowledge and setup confidence. If you manage the session yourself, you might get an even better performance from the drivers for the rest of the weekend. Right, time for qualifying. Our results here will determine where we start on the grid for Sunday's race. Qualifying takes place over three knockout rounds and only the fastest drivers will advance each time. Same as practice, the team can handle qualifying for you if you like. 
Let's get you hands on for this round though, just to make sure you're feeling confident before race day kicks off. Our drivers need to be set in their fastest possible lap times so we can advance to the next round of qualifying. The slowest five cars will be knocked out. Keep a careful eye on time remaining. The time limit on qualifying rounds really ramps up the pressure. Right then, let's get a car out on the track for its first run and see how it goes. Each car is fitted with a number of onboard cameras, so you can see the action as it happens. You can also use the map view if you like. It gives you a good overview of the whole track and all the cars. Remember you're managing two drivers throughout the session, so make sure to keep an eye on both of them. That's a decent time for a flying lap. Keep an eye on the stand-ins throughout the session and try and keep the drivers out of the knockout zone. Right then, that qualifying run is done, so the driver will return to the pits now. I know everything happens so fast over a race weekend, but if you need to catch your breath, you can pause for as long as you like, or if things aren't moving fast enough for you, you can speed up a little. Our driver is back in the pits. You need to reconfigure the car. The team will make sure the run plan is updated to include refueling. So all you have to do is fit some fresh tires. Here you can see all the tire compounds available this weekend. When making any changes, just be sure you're considering both the condition and the compound of the selected tire.
we want maximum performance during qualifying. So let's use a fresh... Brilliant. The car's ready to head back out at your say-so. It's probably the track will have more grip later in the round, but there will also be more traffic. It's up to you to decide when you want to send the car out. Whatever gets us through to Q2. From the data view, you can see live data from the current session. Here we can see the latest lap and sector times for all drivers and an overview of their tyre conditions. Here you can also view how the current session could affect the drivers and constructors championship standings. There's plenty more to dive into with the data view, so make sure you spend some time exploring.
session is over. It's up to you whether you manage the rest of the qualifying rounds. If you want, you can let the team take control, so you can focus on the upcoming race. Please give us a radio check on the backup radio. Yeah, all good. It's green light.
radio check. Yeah, good. Thank you. 